From any angle, any side, up close, Matthew Kasyama wants you to see and feel his sculpture. He demonstrates how his hands molded this work, the inspiration of which are the elders in the Congolese village where he's lived his entire life. What you see is wisdom and intelligence, because our ancestors died with this intelligence inside them. Some eerie, others elaborate and even playful, but they're all made from cacao, the bean-like seed used to make chocolate. Yes, chocolate sculptures on display at the Sculpture Center, an art institution in New York dedicated to experimental works. As impressive and unique as this art is, to fully appreciate it, you have to know where it comes from. In the Congolese village of Lusanga, where people make as little as $20 a month working the fields, they have found a new outlet in art. It's here where Unilever, the multinational consumer goods company that makes everything from soap to soup to yes, chocolate, extricated palm oil from the village during the colonial past. So the Congolese Plantation Workers Art League was formed, making sculptures with the very material associated with Unilever. All of the artists had never tasted chocolate, so it was kind of interesting to suddenly put vision, thoughts, emotion into a luxury product. With a mission to reverse income inequality. The sales of those sculptures then go back to the collective. When the sculptures were exhibited in Europe, sales not only generated tens of thousands of dollars for the village, but also something more money can't buy. This art is very valuable to us because growing up in plantation, we now have an opportunity to build something important and express ourselves. The hope is that through art, people don't just enjoy the taste, but also appreciate the cost. Gabriel Elizondo, Al Jazeera, New York.